Hi friends, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 34 in PySpark playlist. In this video, we are going to focus about sample function in PySpark. Let me explain you this what this function in PySpark and how we can use this on top of data frames in our day to day real life scenarios. So, let's assume you have a very big data set, like you have some thousands of rows. Now, you want to perform some transformations on top of it but maybe you want to take some sampling data only to do the testing right so whenever you get any such need where from large data set you want to take sample set of rows randomly and then take that sample for testing or anything in such scenarios you have to use this sample function actually if this is not making sense at this moment let me practically explain you this so that you will get most out of it. So let me go to my browser. Here I have already opened my Databricks workspace. And here let's try to create a new notebook. And let me name this notebook as sample notebook. Python is a default language. This is my cluster. Let me hit this create button to create my notebook. So once the notebook created, sometimes you see this pop up. So close this pop up and here let's try to create one data frame first. So since I said sample function will get you random sample subset of the data from your entire data set. So now let's try to create one data frame which contains some 100 rows with numbers like 1 to 100. Okay. So from that maybe 10% of the rows randomly I want to take it or maybe 20% of the rows randomly I want to take it. So you can do that using this sample function. So for the sample function there is a parameter called fraction for that parameter you can pass values between 0 to 1. So let's assume 0 0.1 means 10%, 1 means 100% of the rows then 0 0.2 means 20% of the rows like that. So that fraction you can define. And there is another useful parameter called seed where you can pass any random number as a seed number and that seed number will help you to get fixed set of random rows as a data set from that entire large data set. I will show this also with an example so that you will get sense of it. So let's try to understand this sample function first. Before that let's try to create a data frame using this range function by sending start and end values. So let me explain you that so that you will make sense of it. So spark keyword will give you spark session object on top of that you have this range function to the range function there is something called start parameter to which I can send a value like a starting value and then end parameter to which I can send a ending value. So what it will do is from starting of this number it will increment by 1 1 1 up to this number and it will create that entire as rows in a data frame. So what I can do here is, so let me close this. Uh, so this entire thing will generate a data frame. So let's save that in a data frame. And here let's try to display this data frame for your better understanding. So once the command executes, it should create a data frame for me with 100 rows. You can see it created a data frame which has an ID as a column and it has 100 rows. See here. 1, 2, 3 and every row has incremented values right. So let me scroll till the last. You can clearly say we have totally 100 rows created. So why I created a data frame with the 100 rows is because when I explain this sample function it will be easy to refer this data frame. So maybe if I get a 10% of the rows uh, by sending the fraction as a 0 0.1 into the sample function then I should get 10 rows because I have a 100 rows. But what you have to remember is sample function whenever the you, you send some fraction to it it won't guarantee the same set of rows it will return and also it won't it will not exactly get the 10% it may be slightly high or slightly low and it may be sometimes exactly 10%. So let me do one thing here. So here on top of data frame let's use this sample function and to the sample function if you see there is a fraction parameter. To the fraction parameter I am passing 0 0.1. So this entire code will generate a data frame. So let's save that in a data frame called df1 and then finally let's try to display this data frame 1. So let me hit shift enter to execute this code. 
so i am displaying a data frame and also i am displaying data frame 1 which is getting sample from my entire data frame by sending fraction as 0 0.1 that means 10 percent of the rows from this 100 rows of data frame so if you see here this is data frame and now this is df1 and now if you see here we supplied value as 0 0.1 if you see here 0 0.1 as a fraction but here i am getting only six rows so that is the reason i am saying it's not always the same so you may think like it will get a 10 percent but it's not exactly 10 percent sometimes it is 10 percent sometimes it will be less sometimes it will be more so let me re-execute this entire cell now by hitting the shift enter and now this time if you see the day of one data frame we got seven rows so last time we got six rows right so like this so this fraction will define the percentage of the rows to return but it is not guarantee it is not exact percentage of the rows and second thing let's assume i get another fraction of 0 0.1 from the same sam from the same data frame and this time i am storing it into a data frame 2 and let me try to display data frame 2 as well here so let me hit shift enter to execute that cell and the command is executed now if you see this is data frame 1 here we got around 9 rows and if you see values 25, 35, 44 and all and if you see the data frame 2 here we got 6 rows but uh, the values also are different. The thing is the values what we get whenever you use a sample function is not constant. So they will be random numbers ok. So you cannot guarantee like uh, this time I got a 78 the same row should come in the next time also no there is no such guarantee. For some reason in real time you face a scenarios where you want to get that guarantee set of the random rows so that maybe you are testing something on top of it the same set of rows should come every time to make sure my functionality is working good because you are testing something there so if such requirement comes what you have to do you have to pass some seed value here so let's assume this time what i am doing i am passing seed value as one two three maybe and let's try to pass the same seed value here also so now what will happen if I execute this code the sa random sample whatever it generate it will be same because I am giving some seed value which is similar in both the cases. So let me hit shift enter to execute this command and once the command executed yeah command executed now if you see the samples what we get is same you, you see in the df1 we got around 8 rows and same in the df2 as well not only that if you see the values what you get also same see 36 39 42 46 72 85 88 and lastly 100 so that means this is seed value to help you to get fixed set of rows using the sample function from the large data set so this will be very helpful in real time when you are testing something by taking subset of the rows randomly so i hope you got a clear idea now so thank you for watching this video Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever I add videos. Thank you so much.